Have you ever felt like you would make way more money selling things online if you just had more time? That is me. That is definitely me. And if you clicked on this video, I'm going to guess that's you too. My name is Nikki. I'm a part-time reseller and I have been reselling for several years, sold over 800 things online and doing most of this while working up to four different jobs. So I know just how difficult it can be to make time to do the things that are important to be the most successful in a reselling business. That's why I was super excited when Prime Lister reached out to me to try their software and do a video in partnership with them. So Prime Lister is a Chrome extension. That means that you don't give your password to them or anything like that. It only works when you have the websites up on your computer and you will be using an actual computer to use their software. Now there's two main functions of the Prime Lister software. There's one that is Prime Lister cross-listing. You can import your listings into an inventory marketplace, cross-list, relist, delist. Basically, this is the tool that you'll really wanna use if you wanna cross-list to several other new platforms. And you guys, new platforms is really a big key to being successful selling things online because you want as many eyeballs as possible to see what you're selling. And a lot of these people are only on one platform, especially with Facebook Marketplace because everyone has a Facebook page. So I'm really excited to see how this works. The other tool that they have is a Poshmark Assistant. That's the feature that acts like a person for every activity you do on Poshmark. It can relist, it can delist all in one swoop, it can share, and you guys, it can even send bulk offers to likers for you on Poshmark. And you guys know me, I really like to measure success, do kind of experiments and see how things are going. So that's what I'm gonna do in this video. I'm actually going to time myself doing some of these things the normal way versus the Prime Lister way, tell you what the difference is. Also, I'm gonna use their cross-listing software to, for the first time, list on Facebook Marketplace. So let's get started. Okay, so what we're gonna do here is we're gonna go start to finish with Prime Lister to show you exactly how it works. First thing, you go to the Prime Lister website. This is their landing page. You click the sign in, sign up button. I'm already signed up, so we're gonna go from there. I'm gonna show you how to install Prime Lister extension. You just go to this page. It's very self-explanatory. I'm just going to click where it says click here and install Prime Lister expansion. After you hit that button, you're gonna be on this page. I actually uninstalled this just so I could show you how to add it. The next thing I'm gonna do is just go to add to Chrome and click that. And then I'm going to hit add extension. Okay, once that's done, I'm just going to go click on this little puzzle piece thing right here on top of my Chrome. You can see I have a couple other extensions installed, but here's the Prime Lister right here and there it is it's already open and ready to go and then i can just choose which service i want to start on let's start on poshmark so i click on poshmark and that is how it's going to get into your poshmark account by you actually going into your account on your computer once again you don't have to give them your password which is super nice if you're worried about being hacked or something like that let's start with the relisting and i want to show you guys how much time this actually saves me one quick thing about Poshmark, most people know that you can also relist on Poshmark with that copy listing feature that's at the bottom when you edit a listing. However, that only works if you have had your listing up there for at least 60 days. So if you wanna relist before 60 days, which is definitely going to be the case with these Croc work flats, I only listed those about 14 days ago. So I wanna relist those and have them actually share up fresh on the feed. So we're gonna do an experiment, I'm going to relist list them manually and then relist them on this prime listing software and tell you what the difference is. So um, let's get started. <music> I think I did that really quickly. My mind kind of hurts a little bit from it. So that took me two minutes and 54 seconds. So about three minutes. I'm impressed with myself. Okay, so now that that's done, I'm gonna try relisting with Prime Lister and see how much time it takes me in comparison. So let's go. 
Okay, so when I relist on Prime Lister, the first thing that I'm going to do is check the little white box in the upper left-hand corner of the item that I want to relist. In this case, I have chosen to relist these shoes, so I check that box, then I go to Prime Lister and I hit Relist. It's gonna ask me if I wanna do that. I verify that yes, I do, and then you hit OK one more time. And what you're gonna see next is a screen pop up another tab that's gonna pop up and it's doing all of these tasks for you. So you can tell that the little wheel is spinning, it's working, but I'm not actually doing anything myself. I'm just sitting here. So you can see the wheel will continue to spin, let your computer do some thinking, and then you're gonna see some action. So you see how the pictures are being added right now. There's going to be some of the captions and the titles added as well. And now it's done. It's already done. What's important to add is it's also deleting the original listing. So you do not have to go back and delete it yourself. This is all it takes. You're done. You're relisted on Poshmark. There is my new item that took 53 seconds for that to go. And the nice thing is when you do this, you can actually click a bunch of things and do them all in a row. So you don't have to just do one by one. You don't have to reset it every time. So now that we have the comparison with the relisting, let's do a little bit of math here. I have 285 listings on Poshmark right now. If I wanted to relist them all and I was some kind of wizard that could keep up that speed for 285 listings, I've done the math, it would take me 855 minutes, which divided by 60 is 14.25 hours. If I use the Prime Lister software to relist everything manually, it would take me 4.75 hours. So if you do the math and you think about it, if you wanted to relist your items once a week, that's about a 10 hour difference you would have if you were manually doing it compared to Prime Lister. And in an entire month, that comes out to 40 hours, which is an entire work week. That is a lot of money. And this software for the relisting feature can cost you as low as $20 a month. So I guess you can just think about it and see what's worth it for you. For me, I definitely think that I could make some sales that way. I have been relisting basically all of my inventory using Prime Lister and I've made, I think 12 sales in the last week and a half with minimal time invested in just relisting those items. I also wanna add really quickly that relisting on Macari is just as easy. So all you would do here is you go into Macari. Here's Prime Lister open on my Macari. Let's say I wanted to relist this Forever 21 purse. I just go to Prime Lister, relist, relist now. There is one important thing I do want to mention about Macari, however. So there are some items that you may have listed on Macari a long time ago. That was definitely the case with me. If that is the case with you, there might be some settings that Macari has updated since and Prime Lister relisting doesn't work on those. You're gonna get an error listing for that. That happened to me. So on those listings, there is a little bit of a downside because in order for them to relist properly with this software, you actually have to go in and update the categories. So that is one downside, but overall it does work very well with Macari as well. Let me show you how it's doing its thing over here on this tab. I mean, it's even copying the, the shipping, all of that stuff. And then once this gets done, the old listing is going to be deleted. It's going to be fresh. It's new. Everything is great in the world. One other thing I wanted to tell you about this is you can also schedule when you want something to be relisted. So let's say I was relisting these Lululemon crops. I would hit relist and then I have an option to schedule that task. So if I'm sitting on my computer, then I can say, I want this to happen in 15 minutes. I want this to happen at 2.30. If you're really paying a lot of attention about when people are on Poshmark, for instance, nine o'clock, maybe party times, you can schedule this 
to happen on the parties. The only thing you need to keep in mind though is that your computer and Chrome must be on open and active so you can't like have a screensaver on. It needs to be open. Ideally, you would be doing something else on your computer at this time. So now that we've talked about relisting, let's talk about cross-listing. I'm gonna go through the process with you and time it again and see how long it takes for me to cross-list things on Facebook Marketplace from Poshmark. I'm gonna start this one out telling you how you would cross-list with Prime Lister. So let's hit the item we wanna cross-list right there. Then go to Prime Lister, hit cross list. You're gonna see all your marketplaces come up. I'm doing Facebook. I'm gonna hit the command boxes to proceed. And you're going to notice that in a new tab on Facebook, a listing is gonna pop up. And it's already gonna have your title, your description. The pictures are going to copy over too. There is a little bit of work that you do have to do with this. So knowing that Facebook doesn't like stock photos, for instance, I'm going to get rid of that stock photo. That's the first thing I'm gonna do. And then I'm gonna scroll down and see what fields I need to fill out. So every different marketplace has different categories. So this is nothing different. You just have to pick what category your item is in. And then you're gonna go ahead, put what condition it is in. You're going to fill out this box right here with the brand. And that's pretty much all you have to do except for just adding a couple different tags so that it's easier for people to find your item in Facebook search. And after I have that done, I'm gonna be private and hide these from my friends and hit next. I pick my shipping options. I'm doing shipping only on Facebook and picking how I'm doing my shipping, picking what the weight will be. And there we go. Um, that's it. That's all you have to do to cross list an item on Facebook Marketplace. That took me one minute and 26 seconds to do it with the Prime Lister. Let's see how long it's going to take me to do this manually. So here we go. three minutes and 56 seconds compared to that one minute and 46 seconds. So that's about a two minute difference. Let's say I wanted to cross list 10 items a day. To do it manually, it would take me about 40 minutes. If I use Prime Lister, it would take me 20 minutes. So let's expand on that. If you listed seven days a week, 10 items, seven days a week, that's about 4.5 hours manually to cross list to Facebook. Meanwhile, it's just a little over two hours with Prime Lister. And I do wanna add, although I've only posted about 11 things on Facebook so far, I did make a sale in my first week on Facebook Marketplace. So I do think that there is some potential on the platform. Now, one other cool thing about this Prime Lister is you can also get things into your inventory. So they're all in one central place, no matter where you're selling. So you can see everything together. I'm gonna give you an example. Let's say I wanna put these shoes in into my inventory. All you do is you select the shoes, you go to your prime lister, import under inventory actions. Yes, import now. This goes really pretty quickly, which is nice. Um, it usually just takes a couple of seconds. Yep, it's up there right now. Now I'm gonna show you how you can also merge. If you click on your entries by name, then it's gonna be filtered kind of in an alphabetic order. So I just scroll down, I've got these both into my inventory, I can click both of them, merge, and right away they're under that. So what's really exciting about that is let's say I sell this on another platform, I can just come into my inventory here, go to edit listing and see them on both, and I can change the price, I can delist, I can do a lot of different things here. See, I can delete the item, now I briefly touched on this, but I really wanna go a little bit more in depth about Poshmark Assistant, the other main tool of Prime Lister that you can spend another $20 a month and get access to all of these things. This is if you're a huge Poshmark seller, there's so many things on here that you'll probably find very helpful. Let me show you. So on the Poshmark bot, this is going to be your sharing settings. 
and they do have an alarm function on there too if you're worried about being caught by the programming that Poshmark has to detect whether you're using an automated service this will send an alarm on your computer so if you're nearby you can come and you can stop it you can also share your listings from bottom so the reverse share so if you have a special order that you want your Poshmark closet to be in you can keep it in order with this tool and then you can also choose whether you're going to share to your followers or if you're going to share to a party. Let's say you're really crazy about following people on Poshmark. You would simply go here. You could follow people. You could unfollow people. I don't really understand the point of unfollowing and following people on Poshmark. But if that's what gets your boat floating, you can do that with Prime Lister. This is what I think is really the coolest. You can do a bulk offer. So if you want to have a, a sale in your Poshmark closet, you can do it without actually individually putting everything on sale. So let's say I want to give everybody a 17% discount on the things in my closet with a shipping offer. You can also put like a minimum earnings in here too. So let's just not get too crazy. I'm going to put my minimum earnings as 10 and let's let's see what it does so what it's doing right now is going and processing and seeing what items that i have up right now actually have likes and it actually says no likes if there's nobody that likes that item okay i really wasn't sure what to think when i first sent this out but i have to tell you guys this was incredible i ended up making six sales after sending out this bulk offers to likers so this is definitely my favorite feature so far. I think it would be really useful to do once every couple of days or once a week and, you know, just kind of watch the sales come in. As far as ban risk, obviously you're going to want to use something like this at your own discretion. Do what you think is right. I think that you should be very careful as a consumer and do all of the reading that you can on your own about rules and regulations. But what I can tell you about Prime Lister is it's working on your personal computer as you're actually planning out your activities to a specific schedule. And when it's sharing, it's actually mimicking real human behavior in that slow process, which definitely reduces the risk of Poshmark detecting any kind of automation because it's mimicking human behavior. If you bought something like this and tried to share your closet all day long, I'm not sure what would happen. I definitely wouldn't recommend that. I think that this kind of software is very useful, very helpful. You just have to use at your own risk and your own discretion and use responsibly. I think if you're sharing five times a day, that's not a big deal. But if you're sharing constantly, you could run into problems with that. They also have a customer service department that will respond to any issues or problems that you have within 24 hours. So I'm really excited about Prime Lister and I feel like my eyes have been open to the possibilities of a software like this. I plan on continuing this, especially because the cost is pretty reasonable. If you get the lowest package, it's only $20 a month. And I think that that's gonna save me a lot of time help me make a lot of sales, especially with my very limited schedule. So now that you guys know how it's working for me, I'm really excited to see how it's working for you guys. There's a seven day free trial. You don't have to put your credit card information in. And if you do like it, what's really cool is Prime Lister gave me a code, an affiliate code to give you 30% off your first month. So if you like it, you could be paying as little as $15 to use it for five weeks or you could just try it for the first seven days and see how you like it too. So there's a lot of different options here. I think that this is something that can really help you do so much more with your time, which is what we're all looking for. So what I'm gonna do is post my link below and I'm gonna post all of the Prime Lister stuff below so you can check it out, see what other people are saying about it, see some of the other reviews and just see if it's something that would work as well as it has for me, for you. For now, thank you guys for being with me. I hope you have a great day.